The warehouse can always use people, volunteers. That is probably one of our key. We're always needing people to help sort, to pack, and just to help. We always are needing basic household supplies. Lots of linens, blankets, sheets, towels, those kinds of things. Pots, pans, kitchen cutlery, kitchen plastics. No glass dishes. We do not want your mugs and your glass dishes and your corningware plates and corningware dishes. Most of our things are delivered by small truck or could even be by boat and of course they will break. Fragile is only fragile if it can be delivered safely. Always needing nuts, bolts, screws, garden tools, school supplies, office supplies, sewing, medical supplies, dental supplies, almost everything that you can have except for things that break. If you have a question, Give us a call and we'll make sure that we can help you out and answer your question. And of course we need money. Others may pay for the shipping, but we still have to buy tape. We still have to have hydro. We still have to pay vehicle expenses, insurance, those kinds of things. We run it as thrifty as we possibly can, but there still is costs. So money is always needed. I can remember um, being in Haiti up in, in the mountains, being welcomed into a little mud hut school because we had sent books and school supplies and they were thanking me personally even though other people had packed the boxes I was the face to see that the teachers could and the students were learning in a place just a mud hut and excited about what they were doing and then you go into another place that they have just rebuilt the school and, and all of a sudden there was blackboards and there were school desks that we had just taken out of one school that had closed and to actually see the desks in place in another school was exciting because it was just here we have no more need for it because we've replaced it or the school is closed and so the new school has new desks and to see the, somebody else sitting in the desks. Teachers excited about blackboards. It's, it's pretty, it pretty is overwhelming. I can remember one time we were unloading a, a container, went into the hospital in Haiti after the, the earthquake and we were setting up the beds and there was boxes of linen and everything else and so we made the beds and we set up the equipment and we set the whole room up and we walked out and set up an emergency uh, room and walked back in and then there's patients already in the beds and they're already being used. Like Less than 15 minutes later, beds are being used that we just made. And it said, you know, donation of, and it was from Victoria. And we had packed those and we had put them in there and there they were being used. We can't make any donations come in. I can ask that this is a need, but I can't make anybody give anything. I can't make the volunteers come in. And to them, I owe an immense gratitude. If people don't drop off or people don't phone or businesses or schools, if they don't phone us and say we have this to give or they don't show up at the door or show up at the drop off, we have nothing to give. I just want to say thank you. Because without people giving to us, we can't send.